So I'm in this Medibank R app. That is the app that I use. I love it. It's free. It's great. So I'm going to go up in this corner, this top corner, and I'm going to click on this green color. That's the color I want for my wreath because I'm making a floral spring wreath. And I'm going to get it to the size I want. I believe I'm using 20 right now. I use 20, 10, and 5 a lot for this sizings. And I'm going to make it just a very simple circle, trying to make it as even as possible. And here I am checking to make sure that it is all very even and close together, I guess. I don't know. But I just wanted to make sure that it was not, like, off-centered because I have to make sure that things are centered. Now, I don't know if you guys can see very well what I'm using but I'm using this symmetry and I love this thing this brush because it basically means that I can just do like one petal of a flower and it does it around like you saw there and I do not have an apple pencil or anything like that I just use my finger so this is really really helpful because it's not making all my petals even and it makes it go a lot quicker which can be really nice so I'm starting off with the yellow color and just kind of going all around doing very, very similar petals. And if I don't like them, I just click the redo button and try again. So I'm def I think I'm using four colors. I think I'm using orange, yellow, and two different types of pinks. One very pastel and one like deeper, almost hot pink, but not quite. And I'm trying to make these petals a little more straight so that I can do it twice, as you can see here, so that it gives a different shape because I don't want them all to look the same. And obviously, I didn't make all the orange ones this way, as you can tell by that one, that little flower that I made, but I did try and make a few like that so that there's some differences. And how wonderful. We got some colors in here. Now, the wreath on the bottom is going to be mainly covered up. You are going to see a little bit. And the reason I mainly covered it up is because I wasn't really using it. It was just so it looked like a wreath, like there was something underneath of it. But also as a guideline so that my circle was pretty accurate and close to what I want. And so I wasn't having like a wobbly circle. And I'm going here and just adding these more colors. This, I guess it's not really hot pink. It's more of like a fuchsia color. But, yeah, and now I'm going in with some pale pink. And once again, this app is called Medibang. Is it called Medibang Paint or Medibang Art, guys? Oh, guys, I don't know what I'm doing. I will put the name. You'll see the name pop up here. And that is what it is after I can confirm. So here I'm just coloring in all of them, color painting them in. I don't know what it's called when you're doing it digitally, filling them in, I guess. This, I had to speed this up so much, guys. I wanted to get really close, and the closer I would get, I would actually just make the size smaller so that I could get it close and not, and very even looking. And that's what I'm doing right now. I don't know what to say, guys, when I do voiceovers, because I'm not in the moment. I'm just watching myself do this. I'm writing springtime here, and I'm just kind of figuring out what I want to do, changing the size, choosing the color, um, making it look even. I hate the text on this app, but that's all right. It's fine. We worked with it. We made it good. It's all good. I'm checking to see if there's any fonts that I want, and it's telling me that I have to sign in and log in if I want any. So I decided not to do that and just stay with this font here. Obviously, I skipped ahead because I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do for the flowers, and I've done a couple paintings that look like this. And if you guys can tell, I did go over onto the other petals. It made it so much easier because I would just fill in the colors, and it made it, 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 just, it was way better to just go overlap. And then go back and fix it, as you can see that I'm doing in a moment. Okay, so here I'm just changing some colors for the next details and the next flowers. Um, that's what I'm doing here, making sure I want the right colors. And then just filling them in, pretty simple. For this one, I'm doing like these little 
I, they're called sparkle i believe it's sparkle brush and i was doing it like at the bottom so it looks like almost little like dots basically with a little sparkle so for something different so for two of the flowers you've got like the big pokey sticky out things with the little circles at the end and for the other two types of flowers you have the little sparkle dot things so that's what i'm doing here i don't know i'm cleaning up a little bit so it looks nicer there we go doing that here and just working on that so i think i go in yeah i so if you can see here i was cleaning up because i like to go over i think i might have said that before because it is a lot easier to make it look natural and i just finished and now i'm adding some leaves i skipped ahead the flowers because you've already seen me do it a few times now and now i'm just adding some leaves I guess, like, little stem, not stems, but leaves, and just sketching them out, doing them all over, making sure they're the shape that I want, and that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'm spending a lot of time on this leaf. It has to be perfect. Oh, there we go. Now I can move on. Sorry, also sorry that we haven't posted in forever. I'm trying something out here. Didn't end up liking that, so I didn't do that. But sorry we haven't posted forever. I don't know if we're going to post super often, but I did think that I would share a video with you guys. So, you, I hope you enjoy this video. But I'm still filling in the leaves. And then, after I filled in the leaves, I was cleaning it up. Oh yeah, I don't know how I got this random streak here. So, I'm cleaning that up. And I'm just going over with the colors. That's why if you can see um, on the side of my screen how I have that so many colors. It's a little palette. And you can make um, colors. So then if like you're trying to go back to the colors, you know what you want. So I was just messing around there and seeing what I wanted. And I ended up just deciding with some lighter, almost like strokes in the middle. And they, some of them touched the flower. Some didn't. They were just kind of flying. And now I am doing some cleanup. And seeing what I like. And I am now going around this entire wreath. And cleaning up. Making it look nicer. And these are supposed to be messy. So they aren't going to be perfect anyways. They are supposed to overlap. But I didn't want. There were some areas that weren't supposed to be overlapping. And I just wanted to clean them up. So that is what I'm doing right now. As I'm wrapping this up, I just want to say I hope you have a great day. Enjoy this video and thanks for watching. Bye guys.